Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Quick, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Inter Milan Carimo. This is episode 8, and boys, this is a transfer deadline day special. We only have three days left in the transfer window, and uh, we gotta get things rolling. So, I asked you guys in the previous episode whether or not we should switch. Handanovic for Donnarumma if we should do a swap and you guys said no there is no way in hell you should do that and look at all these damn comments bro you guys were telling me no 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 don't do it that's gonna ruin this career mode you can just get another goalkeeper next season just keep Handanovic this season so I am going to listen to you guys because you guys went in the comment section it takes more effort to leave a comment than to vote so I'm gonna listen to you guys so we're not gonna go for Gianluigi Donnarumma because you guys were telling me that's like saying Rashford going from Manchester United to Manchester City it would never happen so we're not gonna go for Donnarumma instead when we're able to sell Eder what we're going to do is that we're going to sign some young talents so that they can join our youth team and don't worry guys I have huge plans for this youth team so let's go ahead and advance and see if we get any response uh, for the Eder negotiations with Zenit and we get the news that Eder has has been sold so let's see how much money we have gotten from that deal so Eder has been sold that is 18 million dollars to our bank dude that is good enough that is good enough for me to go ahead and sign some youngsters so let's go ahead and search for these players and we're gonna do this one by one and I'm gonna tell you why I'm signing these players this is the first player I want to add to the shortlist Thomas Olivier among the reason is because he's from Cameroon and I want to make a team that resembles the best players of all time that played for Inter so among for me resembles Samuel Eto'o so we're gonna go ahead put him on the shortlist and uh, we're gonna try to get him right now in this transfer deadline day now another option is Alexander Isak from Dortmund we're gonna put him on the shortlist and obviously he is the rebirth of of Zlatan Ibrahimovic he's tall he's strong so we're gonna go ahead and try to get him and make him join Inter Milan and the next player is Italian Federico Chiesa currently he's playing for Fiorentina so we're gonna add him to the short list and I want more Italian youngsters in our youth team so we're gonna add him to the short list and the next player is Fabricio Bustos currently playing for Independiente he's Argentinian and I feel like he resembles Javier Zanetti so we're gonna add him to the short list and uh, I don't know if we're gonna get all these players but I want to get the majority of them. And once again, we're gonna try to get Simone Scuffet from Udinese. We couldn't do it in the summer transfer window. We're gonna try to do it in this transfer window. And the last player we're gonna go after is Santiago Ascaquivar, who reminds me of Esteban Cambiaso. So we're gonna add him to the short list. And he recently arrived from Estudiantes. So, oh man, we're not gonna go after him. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'm gonna try to loan him in and see what they say. And before we try to sign these youngsters, we're gonna go ahead and approach to sign Eric Lamella. I really wanna get him. I feel like he's gonna help out the squad a lot next season so we're gonna approach to sign him and uh, let's see what happens here and this is a contract for Eric Lamella he's gonna be making 135k a week a signing bonus of 1.85 million his contract length is five years and he's gonna be an important first team player so we signed Eric Lamella for the 2018-2019 season I feel like this is gonna be a great signing for us and I can't wait for him to join next season get in boys now we're gonna go after the youngsters the first one is going to be Thomas Olivier among I feel like Piramonti needs a partner in crime up top so we're gonna go after among so we're gonna go ahead and offer a transfer fee of uh, let's offer 1.2 million to start off they come back right away and they say they want 2.2 million we're gonna counter that once again we're gonna counter it down to 1.5 million and they still say they want 2.2 million come on man uh, I'm trying to be as stingy as I can here all right, we'll go up to 1.8 million. Is that good enough for you guys? So it looks like they're gonna take the offer into consideration. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Ah, oh, that is not what I wanted because it's a race against time right now. Since we have to wait, let's go for Alexander Isak now. Let's see what we can do with him. So we're gonna start the offer here. We're gonna start this one off at 1.4 million. Let's see what they say about that. They say they want 1.75. Oh, I'm happy with that, dude. I'm actually happy with that. That is not a lot of money. 1.75, I'll take that any day, bro. Next one on the list is Federico Chiesa. I see that he has a release clause of 24.7 million. Ooh, that is a lot of money. And we don't have that much money right now. Even though we sold Eder, we only have like 12 million in the bank. So... I'm gonna approach to loan and they're not gonna want that so you know what I'm gonna keep him for next season because I feel like Kiesa is a great player and I want him to join our youth team so we're gonna leave him on the short list the next player is Fabricio Bustos 
let's approach to buy him so this right back from independiente he's gonna cost a lot more money so we're gonna offer 7 million because we still want some money for the other players they say they want 10.5 million all right i'll add a sell-on clause of 25 percent but i need you to help me bring this down to 7.5 million Ah, now, dude, now the sum went up to 11.4 without a release clause. I just pissed them off. Holy crap. All right. I'll give you... I'll give you... Uh... 8... 8.9. I'll give you 8.9 million. Please don't reject this. 11.4. Dude, they're stuck with that. They just want the most money for this kid because they know he's going to be a good-ass player. All right. I will give you 9.4 million. Please accept that. Oh, and now they're gonna have to wait. No, this is bad. We're gonna have to wait for a response now. So now we need our goalkeeper, Simona Scuffet. We're gonna do a player swap. We're gonna offer the goalkeeper that we don't want, and that is Padelli. So we're gonna offer him to start off, and now they want 10.2 million. Okay, at least they accepted that. Let's counter it. Let's offer 5 million. 5 million plus Padelli. They say they want 10.2 million. They're still stuck with that. Okay. All right, can we go to 8.2 million plus Padelli? And it looks like that is good enough. All right, so 8.2 plus Padelli. At least we get an offer in for Scuffet. So we're not going to be able to get Askakibad, but I'm going to leave them on the list as well. So we got these two players, Alexander Isak and Scuffet, who are ready to negotiate. But we're going to advance forward in the transfer deadline day and see... Uh, what they say about Omang and Bustos. And the teams come back and for Fabricio Bustos, it's going to be 9.9 .9 million with a sell-on clause of 10%. For Thomas Oliveira Omang, it is going to be 1.8 million with a sell-on clause of 3%. So the question here is, do I want Samuel Eto or Zlatan? Uh, very hard decision. I don't know what to do. But I want to be different. I want to be different compared to all the career mode guys. So I'm going to go for Thomas Oliver among. We're going to delegate because I don't want to mess up these negotiations. So what we are going to offer is going to be... All right, we're going to start off... We're going to start off at um, 2.5K. That's the lowest we'll go. And the highest we will go for this kid is going to be 7.5K. Let's see what they say. Is that good enough for him? So we have to wait and see what they say about that. For Fabricio Bustos, we're going to delegate as well. And for him, we're going to offer no less no less than 15,000 and no more than 35,000. We'll see what they say about that one. And for Simone Scuffet, how much should we ask for him? All right. I know he's like 75 rated. He's somewhere around there. 75 74 so mm, no no less than 17k but no more than i don't know 34k and we'll see what they say about that the mail's there let's go let's go let's go what did they say what did they say please give me good news fabricio bustos accepted 24,000. we get a loan offer for gabriel i don't care about that thomas olivier oh, what does it say oh they couldn't reach an agreement Come on, dude. What is this? And oh, we can't either get Simon Scuffet. That is a fail. Ah, so the only one we're going to be able to get is Fabricio Busto. So we're going to accept that. It's going to cost us a pretty penny. 9.9 .9 million. Uh, but let's see how that leaves us. Let's see what rating he is at first. And then we'll see how much money we have left in the bank. But bro, I wanted to add more players to... Wow, he's 74 rated. Dude, that's decent. That is decent. I'm not going to lie. 74 rated? And we got for 9.9 .9 million. We sold Nagatomo for like 4.5, 4.6. I mean, here we got Bustos, a great replacement. And he joins the, the youth team. And he's looking really nice here, bro. Actually, this isn't... Yeah, this isn't our youth team. This is our first team that I put to play a sim game. So never mind. We got to switch him out. Who's playing right back? And I feel dumb because this actually was our youth team. But Busto's fitting very well with our defensive line. And he's looking to be a very good player. 87 acceleration. Very good agility. Sprint speed is good. Stamina is really, really good for a young player. Um, he has to work on his heading. That's not so good because he's short. His short passing is decent. His defensive stats are okay. He can play as a right back, right mid, and left back. He's from Argentina and he's right footed so he's a pretty good pickup I'm not gonna lie but we still have five million dollars in the bank dude we can still sign some young talent 
Uh, let's see. Can I go back for these guys? I'm going to try to sign them once again. And we'll see what their teams say. So, uh, it looks like it says you could try in a week. So, no, we can't get them now. We can't get them in this transfer window. That really, really sucks. Uh, so, I'm, I'm going to have to search for some new players to replace these guys. Because I want more young talent. So, a replacement I found for a monk that I really wanted is Christian Basogo. This guy is supposedly 22. Dude, he, he looks like he's freaking 38. What is this? Okay. Okay, I don't care dude as long as he's young we're gonna shortlist him But bro, he does not look like he's 22 years old. That is a load of bull right there We're gonna offer a transfer fee and we are going to offer I don't know two million is that good enough two million for Basogog? And it looks like that is good enough. So two million for Basogog is good enough for them. That is all right with me now We're going to negotiate Basogog's contract so he wants to be a prospect. I accept that. Yes, you will be a prospect. And let's see. I'm going to have him here for five years because he's still a very good young player. Even though he looks pretty damn old. But <laughs> we're going to disregard release clause. He wants 9.5k a week and a signing bonus. Ooh. You know what? Uh, that's good enough. I'll, yeah, I, I, I like that. I like that. So that's good enough. We get ourselves Basogo. Dude, he's 66 rated? What, dude? What? I paid 2 million for a 66 rated striker. No, I did not just do that. I did not just do that. Oh my god, the Global Transfer Network. I will never trust you again. I will never trust you again. I just overpaid for this guy. Oh man. I mean, he's fast as hell. 91 sprint speed, 80 acceleration, but bro, what did I just do? He's left-footed as well. I mean, as long as he's higher rated than Pinamonte, but bro, I just got trolled. I thought he was like 2 million. I thought he would at least be like 69 rated. That is a ripoff. Oh, man. But uh, it's all about making mistakes and learning from them. But um, we don't have any more money, bro. We barely have any money. So I'm going to take a look if there's any young goalkeeper that I can loan in at least. So we got a French goalkeeper. Italian. Blizzati. Cortes, can we go for this guy? Blitzati, he's already on low. No, we can't go for him. What about this guy? He's from Chile. We've had people from Chile before, so we're going to shortlist this guy. We're going to try to go for him. Brian Cortes, he looks pretty decent. All right, Mr. Brian Cortes, we're going to offer your team, our man, Daniele Padelli. He's worth 3.6 million, and it looks like they're looking to bring a striker, and we don't have a striker, bro. Oh, man, how much do we have? We have 2.9 million. All right. We're going to offer the most we can. So we're going to offer, let's offer more, 3.5 million. 3.5 million for Brian Cortez. He want 5.6. Oh, man. We have to counter that. We have to counter that right now. All right, we're going to offer, no, we can't go down. Lower, 4.2 million. 4.2 million for your goalkeeper, Brian Cortez. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Looks like that is a good thing for them. So 4.2 million for Brian Cortez. Let's negotiate now. Oh, man. I better not F this up. I better not F this up. All right. Your squad role, you're going to be a sporadic goalkeeper. You should just be happy with that. Sporadic is good. Five years. I agree with that. Come on. Let's get let's get this as quickly as possible. Disregard the risk. What? He wants a release clause? Bro. Bro. No, 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 no. Deny that, dude. We cannot do that. Okay. They didn't get mad about it. He wants 21.5K. No. Remove the bonus. Edit the wage. All right, you know what? He cares more about wage, doesn't he? We'll give you 90k and 19,000. Oh man, he's gonna get mad at this. He's gonna get mad at this. He does not want that. <sighs> they want 22.5k. Ah, oh, I can't do that, bro. I cannot do that. All right, what if, what if I give you the bonus, but? Your wage stays that low. Oh my god, we failed again. We can't do it, bro. We don't have enough money. Uh, we're not going to get a goalkeeper. I'm sorry, guys. I really wanted to get one. Uh, we, we just tried getting three goalkeepers. It's not going to work out. Unless we're able to sell Padelli. So, I'm going to put him on the transfer list right now and see if we get any offers for him. And we can because he recently arrived. Uh, well, it looks like this is where our transfer window ends. 
And uh, before we end off the transfer deadline day, we're going to take a look at the top offers. We got a loan offer for Davide Santa. Nope, not going to accept that. We need him. We need Davide Santa. And he's been putting in some pretty good performances. So we are going to keep him. So with one hour left, we're going to take a look at the transfer history and look at the top deals. So the top deal was Obama and going to Barcelona. Merton's going to Barcelona as well. Insigne left Napoli and he's going to Bayern. So that is why Napoli is not doing so well. Thomas Lamar joins Milan for 70 million. Holy crap, what is happening here? Forsberg joins Paris Saint-Germain. You have Marco Royce joining Juventus. Diego Costa joining Milan. Holy crap, why are all of them joining an Italian team? I am not liking that. Julian Vigo goes to Stoke. That is really weird. And Edin Dzeko leaves Roma, goes to Atletico Madrid. Cramridge joins Borussia Mönchengladbach. Lars Stindl, we already know that he joined Milan. But bro, what is happening in this transfer window? That is crazy. Marco Royce joining Juventus. Diego Costa joining Milan. And Wilfred Zaha joining Arsenal. So that was the top deals for the January transfer window and that is the month of January. So boys, I'm gonna go ahead and use this youth team in this game against, uh, I think that's Crotone or Cagliari. Let me see, it's uh, Crotone. So we're gonna put our youth team to face Crotone. I wanna see how they do and we get the news that Mauro Icardi is a player of the month. So we're gonna play this game and then end off the episode because I feel like you guys deserve at least one game in this episode after the transfer deadline day. So we're gonna go ahead and play with our youth team in this game and we're just getting a bunch of loan offers for Gabi Gold, but we're not gonna get rid of him, man. He's a good player. He's been doing well here in Inter. So here we go. It's gonna be the Inter Milan youth team coming up versus Crotone and the captain of the youth team is Gagliardini who we will sign next season he's on loan right now but dude he's a, he's such a good defensive mid uh, so we're gonna sign him next season so he is the captain of the youth team and uh, let's see how we do boys so here we go the first 90 minutes that this youth team will play together oh they're in they open it wide Bustos you have to mark your man bro Mazzetella leaves it off a shot goes wide and Padelli in his first start of the season, I believe. Uh, at least with me playing him, because he, he doesn't really play. This team is very hard to play with, actually. Like, I'm used to having our first team, but these youngsters are trying, man. But uh, once we get to the other half and we get into the opponent's box, the passing just becomes abysmal. So we have to work on that passing, bro. Gerson, good ball over to Davide Santon. Pinamonti. Oh, Santon's in! Oh, Santon, I know you're a fullback, but bro, you were right in front of goal. Oh, big shot. Oh, Basogo! Basogo, look at that shot! Oh, man, he was so off balance. At least we're getting shots now. And they're in. A cross in! <gasps> Got him all. Good defense, bro. That pass was going straight to their player. On the wing, what a cross. Bustos able to win it even though he's so short, but he takes it out for a throw in. And we're gonna make some changes right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in some experienced players. So Icardi, Brozovic, and Anokia coming in. We have Basogo, Gerson, and Van Hilsten coming out. So we have to do that. I'm looking for the win. We can't draw here at home. Oh, Brozovic, you should win that. And he does. Now it's Mauro Icardi. Mauro? Yeah, sold it off. Oh, back to Icardi. Back to Icardi! Yes, Icardi, el capitano! He can't stop scoring. He scores the winning goal. And I assure you, we're not going to concede. Because Crotone, they just haven't been able to do much in our half. And we're winning 1-0. Mauro Icardi coming in as a super sub. Whew, we really needed that, man. Look at this. Nice job from Zagnini. Holding the ball and a great pass straight to Icardi. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he always wins that one. Leave it off. Here we go. Oh no, bad. Oh, I said we weren't going to concede and we're not going to concede. Oh, they're going on the counter, bro. They're going on the counter. Good thing we got our experienced center back in. Ranocchia. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh, they're in. They tied it up. They actually tied it up in the 88th minute. Oh, what? So disappointing, man. Oh, come on, boys. Oh, I should have seen that coming, man. Uh, who was marking that? That was Santin, dude. You didn't mark your man. Really, dude? Uh, we only have like two minutes left. Oh, bro. I don't think we're going to win this anymore. Oh, how did we draw, dude? 
Ah, I thought we were going to win. I thought this youth team was going to be able to do the impossible and beat a side from the Calcio. Ah, but it just not was enough. But Delhi, how did he not save that shot, dude? That was the most important shot they had the whole game, and he couldn't save it. Uh, player of the match has to go to Mauro Icardi. He's the one that scored that goal, crucial goal. And uh, we almost got the win because of that, but... That's the end of the game. And normally I would be mad that we draw, but since it was with our youth team, I'm not that mad. Either way, Juventus dropped points as well, so we keep our four point lead on Juventus. So that draw really didn't change anything. But this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap a like on it and also leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're new. I take out FIFA 18 career mode content on the daily. And hopefully you guys have a nice day. And uh, yeah, I'm Quicken, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.